Hello and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your new Galaxy Tablet E. Uh, they're very simple, they're great to use, uh, give you a lot of mobility, and I'm going to show you how simple it is to set one of these up. Now, before you turn it on, you want to make sure that it is fully charged. Um, once you have everything fully charged, uh, you can just push the home button. And this will show you how charged the battery is. You want to make sure it's fully charged before you start to set up this device. Now, to set up the device, you go ahead and turn it on by holding the power button in. And the unit's going to start up. Now, when you first turn it on, it's going to bring you to the welcome screen. And it's going to ask you uh, which language that you want to choose for the tablet. Uh, if you need to ha use accessibility, uh, this is the option right here to use it. Uh, once you select the language, choose start. Now on this screen, uh, this is where you're going to set up the wireless network. Uh, you'll need to know the network name that you're going to connect to. And you're going to need to know the uh, uh, password for the wireless network. So you can go ahead and select that. And then you have to enter the password for it. Now once you're connected, choose next. Now, these are the terms and conditions uh, for to use the device. Uh, this is the uh, date of everything that you're going to send to uh, to provide diagnostic and usage data. Uh, this is to let them troubleshoot any problems that you have with the uh, device. There are some data that they will use anonymously to see what apps you use, what problems you're having, is the device working uh, as it should or if you have any problems with it. Uh, once you uh, put a check mark next to the box then choose next. Now it's going to say that you if you agree with the terms and conditions of the end user license agreement if you agree with it choose agree. Now it's going to check the connection and it's going to check for any updates. Uh, depending on how long the, the tablet has been out, uh, there may be a software uh, update that it needs. Now what you're going to do is add your Google account. Now if you don't have a Google account, you can create one on this screen. Now it's going to also have a little pop-up to ask you if you want the device to continuously check the device to make sure there's any kind of security problems with your uh, device and your Google account. Now all you got to do is just enter your email and phone. Now once you sign into your Google account, uh, it's going to check some more information and it's going to bring you to this screen. This screen is going to uh, ask you about the services that it's going to work with you. It's going to automatically back up the device uh, to your uh, Google Drive. It's also going to help you uh, amps find your location, uh, which is a GPS, things like that. Uh, it's also going to improve the location accuracy, and it's going to also help improve your Android experience. Now, these are all set by default. Uh, you, uh, you can choose, and if you want to not to participate in certain activities you can once you decide and agree choose next now for the payment info uh, this is for anything that you want to use on the Google Play Store uh, you don't necessarily have to set this up right now uh, you can use a credit card or debit card uh, you can set up PayPal uh, if you don't want to do this right now uh, you can go ahead and just choose no thanks and then choose continue now it's going to ask you to verify the date and time now here it's going to ask you if you want to set up your email uh, with this account 
Uh, you can also have it set up your other emails if you have like Yahoo or uh, Comcast, Xfinity, you know, whatever your email is, you can add them to this. Uh, if you don't have one, uh, you can go ahead and choose Not Now. Next, you could do the uh, Protect the Tablet. Uh, you could prevent others from using this tablet without your permission by activating device protection features. Uh, protecting this device will require a PIN, pattern, or a password to unlock the screen. Now, if you want to protect it from anyone else, then you can go ahead and set a PIN or a password. If you don't, just remove the chat mark and then choose Skip. Now it's going to give you the pop-up saying the device protection features will not be activated. You won't be able to prevent others from using this tablet in, if it's lost, stolen, or wiped. Uh, just go ahead and skip it away if you do not want to add a pin or a password. Now you can always add the password later if you choose. Now you can restore your apps and data uh, from one of these devices. Uh, these are the devices that you have used, uh, like a phone or anything like that. Uh, this comes in handy, so if you're restoring your tablet from your old tablet, then you can uh, go ahead and restore the information from that tablet. And we're not going to restore. Now, this right here is the Samsung account. Uh, this is the account that you're going to set up for Samsung. Uh, this is to ensure that you do get all the up necessary updates from the manufacturer, which in this case is Samsung. Uh, you can go ahead and, if you already have an account for Samsung, go ahead and sign in. If not, go ahead and create an account. Uh, with Samsung, you're going to get, uh, the, get uh, tips and tricks. Uh, you're going to get personal data management. Uh, which will keep the data up to date by backing up and restoring your device. Uh, you'll get Galaxy apps, uh, which will come from the uh, Samsung. Uh, you also get a function to find my mobile, so if you lose your tablet, then they can help you locate it. Uh, Milk, uh, that is to discover and enjoy unlimited music. Uh, with Samsung Milk, it's only available on Galaxy devices. Now, this is what the account will do. Now, you don't have to do this at uh, right now. Uh, if you want to, you can do this at a later time. Now, here you got the uh, view the weather forecast for your location. Uh, if you want them to know where your location is, then you can leave the two chat marks, and it will automatically load the details for the weather in your local area. Choose Next. Now, MyNox is a new uh, um, app that they have, and what it does is it sets up a secure space for your private data. Uh, if your device goes missing, locate it and protect your data. Uh, this will allow them to uh, protect the device. Uh, if you do not want to, uh, you can just go ahead and choose Finish. And there you go. Uh, now that you have your tablet set up, it is going to bring you to your home screen. Well, this concludes this video. I hope it was informative for you. And I wanted to show you how to set up a new Tablet E from Samsung Galaxy model. And if you have any questions, be sure to um, ask and comment below. And be sure to share this video as well. Well, I've been your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.